Hello, uh, I am going to install a Roland GK kit G3 pickup into uh, this um, Jackson guitar here, which is a, basically a low-end dinky model, which I bought on eBay uh, for £77, which is a bit of a bargain, really. Um, and uh, basically I want a Roland MIDI it. Now, there's a couple of videos on YouTube uh, of people that have done a, a similar thing on various other guitars um, uh, but I thought I might as well do my own since I've got a new camera huh. um, so what I've done so far is basically ordered the pickup and waited a month for it so in the meantime another thing I've done is I've drawn out the plan of the guitar in one to one scale uh, to give me an idea of where I'm going to put all this stuff um, the pickup kit has just arrived today, I haven't even opened the box yet. Uh, I hope that's fairly obvious, but uh, what I've done is plan out the cavity and all the spaces I've got available to me and uh, where I'm going to stick all the additional components and hopefully if I've measured correctly and drawn it up correctly it should be fairly easy with a minimum amount of uh, cutting of the guitar. There's a fair few bits I'm going to have to cut out. Uh, I'm going to have to put a fairly major hole in the back end here to uh, incorporate the socket and also the extra knob to get it where I want it I'm going to have to take a bit of the cavity away and uh, just extend the space around that back corner a bit uh, to put the, uh, the GK volume in um, I'm not going to use the up and down switches that come with the kit because they're massive and they're ugly I'm going to replace those with a kind of a two way toggle switch but I'll talk a bit more about that when I've got it out of the box do for now. Okay, so here's the contents of the Roland kit. Now I've opened it. What you got basically is a socket with uh, quite a big circuit board on it. So that's got to somehow uh, disappear into this hole here, which is looking good for the size. It's going to be the probably the biggest bit of woodwork involved here. Uh, you get a plate to mount it on as well, um, which I had assumed was going to be metal, but it turns out it's plastic, so it does bend a bit. So it's going to fit around the curve. Of the uh, the back of the guitar a bit better. Uh, you've got the pickup itself, um, which I've slid under the strings on the Jackson. It's going to be quite low, and uh, Roland is saying you want this about a millimeter away from the bottom of the strings. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to build a spacer to fit under that. Uh, I'll worry about that when I get to it. You've got the circuit board itself; that everything plugs into. Um, you get a three-way switch, which gives you um, either your guitar, guitar and Roland, and then just the Roland synth itself. Um, there's a, a volume pot for the um, Roland GK volume, which is going to live in here, and it's a small form factor one, so I'm going to have to take away less wood than I thought I would, which is quite nice. Um, a whole bundle of wires, including an LED, which I'm probably not going to use, because um, it's an additional hole for something that's going to kind of ruin the symmetry of where I want all the knobs and switches really so probably going to disregard that. Um, these are the patch up patch down switches that Roland supply and they're from looking at them you need maybe a 12 or 13 mil hole for these um, and they're designed to basically clip fit into a, a fairly thin panel maybe three or four millimeters maximum you know through steel they'll probably be all right but you know, through a guitar, I don't think they're ideal at all. They're just going to be a like a, an interference fit, and they're ugly and big and clunky. So I'm getting rid of those. And what I've done is I've bought from Maplin a uh, center off, either way on switch, which is not latching. So that'll give me the down up movement that the two switches would have given me just by wiring it either side, basically. So I'm going to go with that instead. Um, also additionally bought a knob, which um, I was quite pleased, it was a bit of a blind buy on eBay and it just happens to match the ones that came on the Jackson perfectly, so I'm quite pleased with that. Um, and a selection of screws for mounting everything, apart from the socket, which you don't get any screws for, so yeah, I have to find some of those, I'm sure I've got some in a box somewhere. Um, yeah, and a whole ton of wire to connect everything up with, so a fair bit of soldering involved to the to the GK volume and all six tabs on the on the uh, pickup selector switch um, and also onto the uh, patch up patch down switch as well. Uh, so I'm going to uh, take my dinky apart now.